all due respect held to our minister who was basically turned up. This, as you know, is the, uh, was always the more well-to-do end of the parish. This was the Danish part of the parish. It was part in the Lex because of the great way over and beyond. And uh, after the Danes, then we had other people who came and said, then I came across recently where Captain Gloucester was shot in the Boer War. He was killed in the Boer War. And um, we also had an MP living in this particular area, Miss Gwyn. I only remember Miss Gwyn only very vaguely, but I'm sure a lot of people here do remember her. Uh, her brother was the MP, and when there was a row about poor Mr. Kelly's salary in the school just across the bridge that was not down, it turned up in the British House of Commons. So we were always sure of, of uh, pretty good representation. But to get back to this book, uh, I got it the other day, and it was almost addictive. One photograph leads you on to the next. And I couldn't leave it down for two hours. And the next thing, I got a tap in the window outside the post office in Arco. And this fellow with a, uh, a hat in him was saying, are you going to move or are you going to pay? <laughs> and I said, I'm sorry, I've just been distracted by this great book. But it's bringing together Kuna, Mili, and Parti. And the traditions of each part of the, the part of the country we're in, they're remarkably different in ways. Kuna with its fishing and industry. Mili, strongly Republican, and always has been. And Parti with its own complex uh, overlay of Danes and British and even the Germans who came and, and with their great river made us into islanders and we became like what Jean Blanchard, the, the French writer, called an isle derrière an isle, an isle behind an isle. And the people in Limerick can sing about there is an isle, but we have our own isle here too, a bonnier isle. And uh, it brings together in a kaleidoscopic fashion the economics of the last century, or the last three quarters of a century. It talks about religion, it talks about agriculture, it talks about labor history, social history, education, uh, military history. There's everything in it, in an extraordinary way. And you can see how far we've come, even with the fashions. There's one great photograph in it of an outing of the ESP to um, Cork, I think in the 1950s, and there's a gentleman on the right with a coat on him and a belt, and it must have weighed about two stone. <laughs> and then you come on, make a jump on to this millennium, and there's a, a table of what you might call, and the won't mind me, flat hospital sitting in the front, the lovely flat, fat cat, <laughs> well fed, well dressed, and looking splendid. And you can see how far we progressed from the 50s when there was very little to the finer times uh, of latter years. There are lots of things uh, in terms of the drama that took place in the 50s, now forgotten, and the role of uh, the parish priest then Father Ray, Father David Ray, in, in promoting that. Gone entirely from party now, practically. Then there was Sheemsa and things came on and took its place and so on. It's a marvellous book and a great credit to Dawn, which brings me on to the man himself. Because there are other things in this book besides photographs. And it's a gift that Donald shares. He is many, he's a man of many gifts, but one in particular that I really admire. Uh, and it's Donald the Balladeer. And he shares the same thing with a man he has featured in the book, Tom Shepard from the bridge, uh, from O'Brien's Bridge, with P.J. O'Halloran, the great balladeer from Six Mile Bridge. And Donald has the same thing of very ordinary events, but parceling them up in the most beautiful way. And they're there for posterity and for history. Things that would be forgotten, with which may have demanded a lot of passion at the time, or even a lot of fun. But he has them captured, and he has them wrapped up 
in the most beautiful style. Now when he started out this second book, uh, he was walking around it for a while, walking around the idea, and he thought Mary was going to get the handle of a shovel and bait him out the back of the house <laughs> if he was going to have a second book. So he said, stick with it, nice and happy, and everything will happen. And I'm delighted he did, because uh, it took a lot of work, and a lot of connection, and a lot of uh, passionate attention to detail in trying to produce something like this. And my only query, and I think it's great that we have somebody in the parish who can stand with the car crowd who are going for three in a row. I'm just wondering, is there a third one in Donald? And I hope there is. And he's taken photographs out there quietly tonight. I think it's the start of his new collection. Uh, but a man with such talent and a man with such drive and determination, he has done a lot for this community. And for the community of Mealy and Kuna with this book. And thank you, Donald, from all of us. And what I would just like to say is, as regards the third one, squeal him up and bubble him, and as the tinker said long ago, come out and pop it out and more walk. Come out your gal is the mind. You know, Marlene Neok, Capum Gumig on the Cartic Dopey and down us. <laughs> and this big fucking a great one order. A go on it. I'm going to use a verse Falter of. Forty e Calig Roy Bolair, Forty Special to Quig uh, Michael Agus uh, Liam and Shaw, Neil uh, Neil of uh, Antaro Calig in our chart Mar uh, to Golf Tournament Burudegan. Up the Honey Antaro Bruno or Patrick Agus our own Willie Russell or at Keel Agus to Forty Boer Roy Agus. Uh, I'm Farron Shoy, Toy, Chart, or Soccer at Charlie, Willie. Uh, I would like to thank everyone who helped, in, um, helped me in compiling the book and uh, giving me photos. Many people, uh, numerous people helped me in doing names, etc., etc and uh, of course financially as well and uh, I would like to thank uh, who else now would have to thank all the musicians that helped uh, that played here tonight to make the night and of course I can't forget Anne-Marie and Rhonda who did the sandwiches they'll be out uh, I hope you brought your own tea bags there <laughs> uh, the last thing, one thing I would like to say is that I think it is a type of a novel item and it's something that clubs, uh, uh, hurling clubs in particular, could, could do uh, because you have numerous photographs stuck in drawers, various places, and it's a shame not to, not to bring them to the public. For instance, I'd say Mealick in particular, uh, with the like of, say, Robin Connell, with good old stories to go with him, to go with him, that they would make for a, a, for a good book. So, listen, anyway, uh, Fogamid, Slán, Agus Tasula Gum Gumanishin, Tanavaf, Asaniha, Agus Bignan, Big Kublish Nishna, Arana Gwen, Sarivad. Job Ella, Ta Job Ella, the day of a gun, Rip Chop, the Gapperee, Glen Arish, Ervi Hall McCarthy.
Parktown Cronel på Walliam Brunne og Rockshaw Brunne og Pjernshaw Brunne er de har kun gør meg seg i mån fin og nys. Hva er det? Thank you. 